Years ago, my company Six Sense was asked to bid for a design project. We sent in everything required of us and we got shortlisted to come for the first level interview of which my GM represented the company. We got to the final stage of the interview and the selection process. Everyone was excited. That was a project we had worked so hard for. But that was also where the trouble began. In the heat of the moment, I dropped the bombshell. For this stage, the directors were asked to come present to the board. That didn't sit well with everyone. I was the director. I remember vividly the expression on the faces of the board members. I wasn't sure if it was my age or the fact that I was female at the time that commanded such surprise. My GM before this final meeting had been told they were most likely going to get the job. Our portfolio was quite impressive. D-Day came and I gave it my best shot. Everything went on smoothly, well, so I thought. To my surprise, a board member called me aside and asked, Why, why didn't you come with your GM? GM? It would have given your company more boost and confidence, especially in the eyes of other board members. I was confused. It was at this point I realized that the insinuation for my robust portfolio was that I was attracting work because I was female. I had never felt so insulted. My GM, who was Lebanese at the time, represented the company. They had all mentioned how they knew the company six cents so well and acknowledged how well the company had been doing. Apparently, I didn't deserve the same treatment, all because I was female. Was it tough? Yes, it was, but I didn't allow that get to me though. After a lot of back and forth, we got the job. I provided more than enough proof that assured them that I was not just the CEO, but an experienced interior designer, as well as a seasoned entrepreneur. The situation actually enlightened me. My GM had been taken for his word, whereas I seemed to have to prove myself. I would like to assure any female entrepreneur out there not to seem limitations to reach, to strive until people recognize your worth. Never feel the need to minimize who you are to accommodate another person's insecurity. Under 40 CEOs, they said I couldn't. Brought to you by Sunlight. Sunlight celebrates and empowers enterprising women who want to do more and be more for themselves and their communities. 
because there's more to you and sunlight than you expect.